Check in with our Nico Tamorian live in Washington now. Nico. Hey there, guys. You know, it was something in San Jose that obviously, as we learned, the fire at the Carter Williams household in Massachusetts happened during SU's victory over Cal. And, you know, after we saw Carter Williams' mother talking to him, and it was something serious you could tell, and she was upset, but he didn't want to say anything to the media about it. Then we learned after what the facts were. Now, since then, we have not talked to Michael Carter Williams until, of course, this afternoon. We saw him on the practice court. He was fine. He was you know, focused on the task at hand, which was getting prepared for that Indiana game tomorrow night. And that's exactly the approach that Carter Williams is taking. He's certainly gracious for everybody's kind words and support, but kind of his escape in this whole matter is hoping to shock the world and upset the Indiana Hoosiers tomorrow night. But that mindset wouldn't be possible without the help and support of his Orange teammates. Real important, you know, they've been here for me, you know, they always, if you need anything, let me know, and, um, you know, they've been great, um, you know, they've, they've made things easy for me, and um, I appreciate that. Um, we've overcome a lot of adversity throughout the season, and, you know, this is a little more personal, but, um, you know, they're there for me and, and help, helping me overcome some adversity in my life. And I have to tell you, you know, guys, very impressed with Michael Carter Williams. Obviously, this is something very devastating to his family. But here he is just a few days later doing full interviews with the media, hitting that subject head on, uh, really showing maturity well beyond his college years, guys. And certainly that mindset will bode him well, not just this weekend, but in his sure professional future to come. Uh, certainly, there have been a lot of well wishes uh, from his team members, from the Syracuse Absolutely. community, really. Yeah, he seems to be such a sharp young man. Thank you, Nico. All right, well, Nico and Alex Dunbar will continue to bring you the latest ahead of tomorrow night's tip-off. Look for their reports today and tomorrow throughout the newscast here on NBC3.